I remember speaking to a, a, a man, he was an older man at this point, and he talked about when he was a child, how his family had immigrated from another country, had come to New York City, uh, and they were very poor. He didn't know how poor they were. But when he was a little child, around six or, or, or seven, he began to pray to get a bike for Christmas. And, and he did what he was told to do, that God listens to our prayers, and so he prayed every day, and he asked God to get him the bike, and he tried to be very good at school, and he tried to be very good at home, and he thought he was doing all the things that he needed to do to make sure that he got that bike. And he prayed, and he prayed, and he prayed. He told his parents, and he said, I, I, I really want this bike. So Christmas came, Christmas morning, in this uh, packed apartment with his whole family there and his parents, and, and he got up, and he went out to the living room where the Christmas tree was, and he looked under the Christmas tree, and there was no bike. And he said, even as a little child, and even now as an older man, he said, that affected him. Because he really believed that if he prayed hard enough, that he was good enough, that God would give him what he wanted. He wanted that bike. And as a six or seven-year-old, he couldn't understand why if God could do everything, God couldn't give him that bike. And it affected him. And it even affected the way he began to believe or even trust in God. You know, we listen to the readings today, and, and the first reading today in Exodus, where, where God is leading the Israelites out of slavery. They're slaves in Egypt. They're living under terrible bondage and oppression. And God says to Moses, I want to lead my people out. I, I, I don't want them to be oppressed. I don't want them to be in slavery. It's time for them to be free. But the challenge is they walk through the desert for 40 years. 40 years in the desert, struggling to find freedom. And so today in the first reading, the Israelites are complaining to Moses, say, we had it better when we were in, we, we were in uh, Egypt, when we were slaves. At least we had food. At least we knew where we were. At least we had a place to live. And now we have nothing. We're in the desert. And they begin to complain and complain to Moses. Surely this is not what God would give us this struggle. And we know that many of the people who went into the desert, they died. And they never even made it to the promised land. They never saw or experienced the freedom that God had promised them. They died in the midst of the struggle. You know, God gives the Israelites today, when they're grumbling and unhappy and saying the struggle is too much, God gives them food. But he gives them food, manna from heaven, it says, but he gives them food for the struggle, for the journey. It's not food that takes away the struggle or the journey. It's not magic. Jesus says in the gospel today to the people, you want me because you want me to fill your bellies with bread. That's not what Jesus promised. Jesus promised life. He promised those who believed life. And he says, I'm bread that came down from heaven. Bread. Food. And Jesus becomes that food. You know, sometimes when we struggle with, with trusting in God, and sometimes in our lives, and, and sometimes all kinds of things where we pray to God to, to pass a test, or we pray to God to win a baseball game, or to win the lottery, or even to take care of some very serious things in our life. And we hope God will come through, and sometimes it just doesn't happen. The struggle continues. And all God ever promised us in the scriptures is that God would not take the struggle from us, but be with us. And to be food. You know, Jesus joins the struggle, doesn't he? I mean, Jesus is crucified. Jesus joins the struggle and becomes food. And as we celebrate now the Eucharist, it's Jesus who says, this is my body, this is my blood, this is my struggle. I give it to you. You know, I, I join you in the struggle that we can find on the way, in the journey, in the struggles, in the good and in the bad, we can find hope, we can find life, we can find compassion, and above all, this relationship that endures, that is faithful. When we get what we want, when we don't get what we want, we always have this relationship that guides us and helps us, as God has always done, to lead us through all the struggles of our life to find freedom, the freedom of being the sons and the daughters of God.